Today I'm going to show you guys my exact shader settings and how I turn my Roblox from looking like it normally does into this. Hey guys, dudes, welcome back to our video. If you guys don't know how to get Roblox shaders, watch my tutorial from yesterday because that's going to show you step by step and how you can get these. And now today I'm going to show you how I can get these exact shaders that I'm using right now. Please keep in mind that on my screen, I do have my Roblox shaders, but I also have like TDD3 lighting settings, which I will share with you guys at the end of the video as well. So the pink hue and stuff that I have going on right now is from TDD3 and the reflectancy is from my shaders. And if you don't like my settings, just go to TikTok, search up another Roblox editor shaders, and they will have tons of different presets that you guys can use instead. The first thing you want to go ahead and do is click Alt F3 on your keyboard, and this menu should pop up. If it doesn't pop up for some reason, that's because there was an issue with when you downloaded your shaders, so go to my previous video and watch the bug fixes at the end of the video. If you want to add a filter, just click the top and click Add Filter, and these are the filters that I have added right now, and I'm going to open them and show you my exact settings for each. I do know that I tweaked some of these a little bit, so make sure you can just take like a screenshot of what my clarity settings are and my other settings. So if you guys want to have the exact same shaders, you can just then copy those directly into your Roblox shaders and it will look the exact same. Keep in mind, you can also tweak them. So if you like your stuff to be more glossy, you can make it more glossy. And if you want it to be less glossy, you can also do that as well. The ones we've changed so far are basically just ones for the lighting to make it look more realistic. And the ones for the glossiness is going to be at the end. Keep in mind, there's lots of people that set this, but this cannot get you banned. This is just client side, so it only impacts your view of Roblox, and Roblox doesn't see this as like hacks or any sort of exploit or anything like that. Now, the setting that's mainly going to impact your quote unquote glossiness of your shaders is going to be the quint one at the end, where basically it makes it reflective, and you can change the reflectancy depending on how much glossiness you like. If you want a lot, just change it all the way to the right. If you want a little bit less, you can change it all the way to the left instead. Now, me in particular, I like to have mine right in the middle because I find this is way too much, so I just turn it down a little bit so it's in the middle and it looks pretty good to me and it looks like those TikTok editing shaders that you see a lot. And then for like the lighting and the pink kind of atmosphere and like fog, I guess, I use TTD3 for that and so I go up to the top and I can basically show you guys the exact code that you guys can input to get the exact same settings. Basically, you want to go into TTD3, go into your lighting editor, and then put in the code UT56 and that's going to give you the exact same pinkish hue kind of vibe that I have going on right now. And if you don't like it, you can also change it to your liking or use other presets built into the game. Now keep in mind, in my previous tutorial, lots of people complained that this was incredibly laggy. Now if it's laggy for you, I recommend turning down the reflectancy in other settings or just having very minimal shaders on your computer. The reason it's going to be laggy for you is because your computer isn't powerful enough to handle shaders. My computer is personally pretty old, like it has some pretty old parts in it and it can run it just fine. As you can see, I'm jumping, I'm spinning, I'm running around and it's not lagging at all for me. So it does lag for you, it's probably because you have an older computer, so just turn down your settings so it's a little bit less strong. And I got lots of questions about this, but no, this does not work on mobile and no, it does not work on Mac. Anyways, my ladies and gentlemen, folks, with that being said, I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. If you made this fun video, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day.